Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when William Samaruto was campaigning, his agenda and the manifesto was all about Mamamboga, Boda Boda, the poor, and the jobless youth in this country. This is what built William Ruto's manifesto. Ruto was trying to change or to run away from the issue of ethnic politics so that we will not see a Kalenjin on ballot, but we will see a man who is ready to defend Mamamboga, who is ready to facilitate the poor of the poorest, the Pearson farmer, the people who are struggling to earn a living in this country. And yes, according to what Wafula Chabukati announced, Ruto was favored in this election, and he is president-elect. So in this government, it is a time we, were, we are anticipating to see how William Samuel Ruto will make sure that the agenda was campaigning on is going to be implemented, taking care of Mamamboga's interest in his government, taking care of the Boda Boda in his government, the unemployed youth under the internet he promised to the youth so that they can do their online business. So, in as much Ruto was largely campaigning on Mamamboga, and even Mamamboga was one of the people who endorsed William Ruto when he went to pick his papers at the IBC. <laughs> Clearance certificate. There was Mamamboga there. When Ruto was going for the presidential interview, he was accompanied by Mamamboga and Boda Boda. Sasa hii serikali ilikuwa ikuwa ya Mamamboga na Boda Boda. But in as much this is happening, there's an issue from Bungoma County that seemingly look like an, we can say, a betrayal to Mamamboga who was at the center of William Ruto's campaign. I'm talking about Bungoma, knowing very well that the current elected governor, in fact the current governor of Bungoma, is Ken Lusaka. Ken Lusaka was elected in, on Ford Kenya party. Ford Kenya is part of Kenya Kwanza coalition. People who have campaigned on manifesto of Mamamboga. But as, as well as speaking now, Mamamboga in Bungoma has finally been betrayed by this regime. I want us to go through a post that was shared by Didmas Barada on his Facebook page and after that we will also give our view as far as this is concerned. This is what Didmas Barada posted. It's completely unacceptable that Kimilili Municipal Manager, one Mr. Ndombi, and the Count Enforcement Officer destroy stores and the stock for traders in Kimilili Town at night without any notice or providing them with an alternative area to do their business. I have released funds to reconstruct their vibandas that were destroyed as they were at any further attempt to destroy them will be met with a resistance never witnessed before. I call upon our governor Ken Makelo Lusaka whom we campaigned on platform of zero harassment of Mama Boga by Count Ascari to, dis to discipline the said officers who were involved in this act of impunity. These men and women had an opportunity to engage in illegality to afford, illegality to afford food on the table but chose to engage in their hustler, hustlers to form to to earn a living. We must respect everyone's hustle and it matters like our president William Samway Ruto has been saying. Don't be must go for disrespecting hustlers. The procedure is very simple. Engage the traders, let them understand your plan, move them under oro, build them more than stone you can't wake up and destroy, demolish. Hustler's challenge. That simply shows that Didymus brother is protesting against the incident that has happened in Kiminini, which is in Bungoma County.
Now we are continuing with our panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and the NL drop comment, I must say thank you so much for unconditional support. Again, I request you to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Bungoma County voted for William Ruto, in fact, about 250,000 votes, <laughs> close to half a, a quarter million votes. Ella Molo got about 150,000 votes. So Ruto got twice what Raila Molo got. That means Bungoma voted for William Samuel Ruto overwhelmingly. The people who anticipated Ruto to take care of the Mamamboga. But it has turned to be the first county in the Western region to be humiliated as far as the issue of Mamamboga is concerned. Robert Alai also reacted to this. There is something Robert Alai has also posted, and I want us just to go through what Robert Alai is reacting to. The people of Bungoma punished Raila and they took him to Bondo in Wilbarrow. This, see the aftermath. And you can see exactly the Vibanda sat down. People had their stock, onions, tomatoes, vegetables, sukuma, cabbage, waru, all those things are down. These Vibandas were built by these women and young men using their own resources, their own capital. So if someone had a capital of, let us say, about 20,000, you invest in the construction and then the product you are selling. And now the county has just wake up in a night and destroy everything without even minding your stock. Kama ni nyanya zimemuagwa. Kama ni mitungu zimemuagwa. Kama ilikuwa ni sukuma ulikuwa menua, it has been destroyed within a night. Now, when you wake up in the morning, the entire stock that you had between you and life, the 20,000 shillings that you had, has been destroyed. And you have been reduced to nothing. This is the face of Bungoma County, and this is the face of William Samaruto's government. I know. Did my brother want to put a blame on officers who are working under Lusaka? But the truth of the matter is that nothing can happen in Bungoma without the knowledge of Ken Lusaka. The current governor should be held responsible for what has happened to the poor and the Pearson people there trying to earn a living through the hard way. What were the Maliza Shule? They have their good certificates, there's no employment. So you choose other way to survive rather than going to steal. So Didimas brother should call Governor Lusaka to order, not his juniors. The juniors were not in a campaign. It was Lusaka who was campaigning. And they decided that it is the right time to bring in Lusaka and remove the other governor, Wangamat. Angamati home, Lusaka in. What wale walikuwa na Raila out, wale waruto in. So, if there are people who are set to destroy the agenda that Ruto campaigned on, then it is the same people whom have been voted in the office together with William Samuel Ruto. And Lusaka is already doing it. It is true, everyone and every county would admire development. Lusaka might have a plan to develop that area. But the question is, how are you implementing your plan? Do you create a disaster? You destroy someone's fortune in a night so that you bring development to the area or you have an alternative to do this. Because the thing was that he should have looked for another alternative or another place to put these people while he will be doing the development that he needed in that area. Look for an alternative and do it in a human way. I'm saying this because the then, during some time back when um, 
Jubilee was trying to do some development within Nairobi. I know there are some bibandas and some, some constructions, the buildings that were brought down. And the Tanga Tanga team were against this. They accused the president of using too much force rather than looking for an alternative to maybe give to these people before you destroy their fortune. So the same way they were attacking President Uhuru Kenyatta is now the same way the Kenya Kwanga team is trying to do their development. There is no honor for Mwamboga in this government. There is no respect for Mwamboga. What Mwamboga should understand is that the campaign is over and they were just used as a tool for campaign. You get your vote and you proceed. So if you are looking for someone who is going to betray Mwamboga, a person who is not prepared even to fulfill what he promised to Kenyans, you should just look at what is happening in Bungoma as of now. Period. So this is the situation in Bungoma County. Many people thought that this is the government that is going to honor Mamamboga, the poor, the jobless youth in this country. Because now, if this the bandas, the, the capital there, the, the Sukumawiki, the potatoes, if it was a youth, because I know even youth are engaging into such business, because now that's the only way. These are things you will sell quickly. So tell me, you destroy such a capital for a youth, where do you expect this youth to go? Are you not opening another avenue to now crop up or build up robbers in this country? Because the moment someone lacks an alternative to feed or put food on the table for the family, then you will opt for stealing. And that is the route we do not want to go. So, the people who want to blunder the Mamamboga agenda in this country is the team around William Samuel Ruto. So, Lusaka should be called to order, and the Mamambogas in the Bungoma, the same way Robert Alai said, I don't have nothing, I have nothing to add on that, but I agree with his statement. See you in our next video.